Hello there, this is Bob Lawless coming to you from East Central Illinois uh, with Golden Harvest Agronomy. Today I want to talk about frog eye leaf spot. Uh, frog eye leaf spot is a disease we get in soybeans, usually under warm, wet conditions uh, during that flowering stage. So we're into that flowering stage pretty heavy now, we've got the right conditions. Uh, it's been wet the last week, it rained last night, it's going to rain again tonight, it's going to rain again tomorrow. So we're having those, those really good kind of juicy environment uh, that likes it for this disease. So it's going to start out as a small water soaked lesion uh, on, the, on the plant there and then it'll eventually turn to a tannish brown to, to almost gray spots on it. Around those spots we're going to have kind of a reddish brown almost purple ring around it. So it's spots with rings you might say supposedly that looks like a frog's eye is how it got named I suppose. It's going to all be in the upper canopy for the most part. Uh, it likes to be in the new leaves. It doesn't start in the old leaves very well. So it's generally going to be those new leaves up at the top part of the plant um, from that standpoint. It's going to overwinter in the residue, uh, predominantly soybean residue, but there are some weeds that can also harbor it over winter as well. So you kind of watch that a little bit as also. So some things you can do uh, to help pre prevent it. Uh, one thing is rotation. Uh, don't be going beans on beans, obviously. And if you've had it really bad and, and can't control it, maybe a couple years corn rotation to get out of that as well. Uh, the other thing is resistant varieties. Uh, at Syngenta Golden Harvest, we bred a lot of really good resistant genetics to it uh, from that standpoint that carry, carry this RCS3 gene uh, for frog eye resistance. A lot of things like the, in, for instance, in our E3 line, the 2814s, the 3043s, 3132s, 3373s, 3774s, all of those carry this, this frog eye gene in, in a kind of a maturity that fits in our geography as well. Uh, there's also some extend flex lines that have it, have it also. Uh, tillage obviously is another one if you can bury that residue, uh, stay out of no-till. Would, would help some if you've had a severe issue with it. Uh, and then our last line of defense is fungicides. Typically we're spraying a lot of fungicides at R3 anyway. That's a good timing to spray for frog eye as well. Uh, usually the one caveat to that is frog eye has a high level of resistance to the strobe class of it. So do not do that. So you want something with some stacked mode of actions. So along with the strobe you need something with a triazole and SDHI, something that'll give you a stack protection uh, to give you good control on your frog eye leaf spot. So those are some things to look at um, as you're out in the field. Eventually it can take over all the top part of the plant. It becomes very obvious you don't want it to get to that stage of development. So that's Bob Lawless from Illinois Agronomy uh, with Golden Harvest talking to you about frog eye leaf spot.